Hi, I'm Gary Kirchner, Mayor for Waitaki. On the 25th of April 1916, New Zealand was first gathered for that very first Anzac Day. It's been 105 years since then, and every year New Zealanders have gathered around the country, meeting at war memorials and commemorating the service of those who served in World War I, World War II, and the various wars and conflicts since that time. With COVID-19, this year that's not been possible. But we want to make sure that we did commemorate the service of our local people and those from around New Zealand. We've put together this following video to give an indication of what happened during World War II and to acknowledge our respect for all of our service personnel from whatever conflicts they may have been involved in. We will remember them. Omaru is a living memorial to our country's Great War sacrifice. The oak trees that line the entrance to the town and are dotted far out into the hinterland of the Waitaki district were planted in 1919, one for each of the 300 men who made the supreme sacrifice. The Great War ravaged this largely rural community, but the spirit of remembrance and respect for those who served is alive to this day. That spirit is tangible, deeply embedded, and a cornerstone of the character of this unique and proud place. Over 700 of those who served in the Great War were students or alumni of Waitaki Boys High School. The Hall of Memories commemorates them. It's been the focal point of school life for generations, and is an ongoing reminder of the concepts of valour, honour, and sacrifice. Brave young men from a peaceful place, drawn into a conflict far away, many lost their lives. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. We remember. We remember. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. I was 11th reinforcements, first lot. That was when I was in Timaru. About 22, I suppose. He was, he was a good looking guy, and I was supposed to. And that's Bill. Well, that one's brother in law, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I carried him Selwyn, out on my back. Selwyn about was 100 that. yards. Whereabouts was that, Selwyn? That was in Italy. In uh, Italy. We were the reinforcements for uh, Casino and uh, well, well we left here and I think it was 2nd of January we got on the boat and uh, I think it was about May by the time we joined up with the, got into the division. I was back, I was in the 23rd then and uh, they come out of the line, they had been in uh, up on the mountain sort of almost round the back of Casino and they came out and they were out for a fortnight and then went in again. The other companies would be, go in and take over their places. That was a hell of a battle. Yeah, yeah, but I missed all that. It, it was, we were in uh, Egypt and Italy while that was on. Mm. We, were, we were in, uh, in Bari in Italy when the um, bombing was done. You know, they bombed the uh, casino. So it was a hill, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was a um, big uh, monastery, monastery on the top. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and they flattened that out. But there was all tunnels underneath. So the Germans just went down into the tunnels. They still had uh, the view over them all. So that was half the battle, really. Is that one of the last pockets of German resistance in Italy, was it? The biggest one, the biggest last one, yeah. Oh, there was oh, the one at uh, Florence was the next biggest one we were at. I missed some of that. I went out with malaria for a fortnight. Wow. We uh, advanced forward to uh, a house. We always used to go to houses in Italy and they would work like a fort, you know and uh, there'd be a, perhaps a whole platoon in the house. That's 30 men. 
uh, and and it was like a fort. You, sometimes you'd have trenches around the outside and so forth, and go out at night to watch. We were there for, oh, I suppose, ten days. Might be a fortnight <coughs> in this house, and then the uh, uh, Americans took over from us, and they attacked across the river. And when the uh, the New, New Zealanders were the first across the bridge into Florence, but they had to come out again because the Yanks wanted to be the first. So what happens, all the Yanks come up, la flags flying and tanks waving flags and all the rest of it, and men m marching behind them over the bridge. Big row about uh, the 13th. Uh, we were on the boat for about two days, up in the three days in Wellington. There, I think they were all marched up to up the street. You see, and I thought it was through, all seemingly organised, and then we all finished up outside Parliament. <laughs> and, uh, and <laughs> then the old, uh, old Peter Fraser, oh yeah, calling around down there. Underneath all the hammocks, you know, and said, "Oh, this isn't good enough for our boys." He said, well, and he took us. We volunteered to go in this outfit, and then they, they were the ones that took off. Yeah. Yeah. So I, we had three, four months in Trenton getting bashed around the playground. Oh yeah. Yeah. 